<laughs> now that I'm clean and sober, but loving on Jesus, they said, oh, I think maybe he's just gone a little too far. <laughs> One thing about when Jesus Christ comes in and uh, takes away the drugs and the alcohol, it's a permanent solution. You see, the price has already been paid. There's nothing that I could do at all. Absolutely nothing that I could do. The only thing I could do from this point is to tell other people about Jesus Christ. You know, like the people that were coming to me during my drug and alcohol days saying, all you need is Jesus. All you need is Jesus. That's why I understand it when people tell me to take my Jesus and shove it. I get it. I was on the other side of that. I understand that. I understand the hostility towards it. You can see where life starts to shine in, that darkness hates it. And it makes it angry inside. I still spend a lot of time studying creationism and evolution, because that's who I used to believe in evolution. I still take a lot of time to study that stuff. The Holy Spirit comes inside of you, and people start to hear that, like, whoa, that's, what's that all about? That's weird. They're telling me something comes inside of me, absolutely. How? Oh, I don't know, and I don't really care to know. <laughs> all I know is that the Holy Spirit, God the Holy Spirit, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit comes inside of you and changes your desires. Changes your desires. We come to the Lord just as we are. Pulling into our sin. And God Himself changes that through the power of the Holy Spirit. 